Hello, one and all. Welcome back to. <laughs> Hello, one and all. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> one and well, all. You hit A and see what happens. Oh, uh, fuck it. Welcome back to Manly Voices. I'm Evan, also known as Manly Ankles. Back again with Gabs. Hi. We're joined once again by Grace and Lacey, and we're playing Hi. Monster Prom. So we completed our first. Uh, I don't know if we completed the first week, but we've. We've all gone once, and now we have a challenge before us. Everybody chooses a movie. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Yeah. Uh, some ASMR. <laughs> some little wine pour. I choose... Um, Everyone choose a movie. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Oh. Gone with the Wind. What a random choice. <laughs> Uh, why Why ever Gone with the Wind? It's just the first thing that popped into my head for some Gone reason. with the Wind? Have you ever seen Gone with the Wind? Not at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that'd be like if you shouted out Great Expectations. Like I don't even know that one. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so Great Expectations really is No, wait, wait, no, that's not my choice. <laughs> no! I want, I want it to be Spaceballs. Damn it. <laughs> Lucky. All right. Mine's horrible bosses. Horrible uh, bosses. The first one. Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange. Okay. Player order is decided based on how hard it would be to explain the selected movie to an old person. Oh, hundred percent, Doctor Strange. Oh. Probably the hardest one to explain to an old person. Uh. Yeah, Evan is last for sure. Probably. I've never seen it. Well, because Squeak- every old person knows Gone with the Wind. For Spaceballs, all I would have to say is that it's, it's... a silly Star Wars parody. Uh, what was yours again? Uh, horrible bosses. Horrible bosses. People want to kill their bosses. Yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah, Doctor Strange. So Lacey wins. Uh, Wait, doesn't Lacey lose because hers is the hardest? I don't. It, I don't uh, we don't. We don't know what this is for yet, though. So, so m- maybe it's player order for the next set of so things. Lacey, then Gabs, then me, then Evan. Yeah. Cool. <clears throat> Week one, and now it's noon. Oh, that was all just, like, in the morning? All right, so Lacey's starting this out. Oh, I guess you get to pick a lunch table. (gasps) Ooh, who are you going to sit with? So we got Damien and Wolf Boy. Uh, Uh, Let's go sit with Hipster Vampire and Wolf Boy. Uh, well... Hipster Vampire, is that a different table? Yeah, Hipster Vampire and Polly Geister at this table. Oh, okay, cool. We'll sit with there are different tables. You gotta pick one. <laughs> oh, um, here's the Okay. You find Polly and Liam not eating as usual. You know, because they're undead. You know, the food in this cafeteria really is atrocious. It's Santa's hardly favorite even hoe. worthy oh of my God. <laughs> Uh, who's voicing Polly? We haven't done it yet. Oh. You do it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what? I don't even eat the food. Oh my God, I'll never be able to hear that voice without thinking of Monica. <laughs> yeah, this is the only female voice I can do, apparently. No, yours is Yuki. <clears throat> Your, um, Yuri one was different. Mm. See, this is exactly what I mean. We can do so much better than these subpar culinary abortions. Whoa! Oh, I see what you mean. The two of us should have a cook-off! What? No. Did you say something? I'm not listening, because I'm so psyched about this cook-off! Ah! At no her. point did I agree to. I've got a huge advantage though, because I've cooked so oh. many drugs. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, so you think you've got the advantage, huh? I've been alive for centuries of culinary history. It's on. The two of them dash into the kitchen, ignoring all ru- all rules of law, school, and common decency as they commence cooking. That's so cute. Two celebrity chef judges <laughs> appear to critique the challengers. I think they're both equally horrible, says the cruel British judge. <laughs> I think they're both. Equally marvelous, says the overly nice British judge. Both judges turn to you. What do you think, tiebreaker judge? Whose meal is truly the cat's pajamas? Wow. Liam's because I think that glass of glass jar of fresh human blood really goes with the parsley he sprinkled <gasps> on top. Second one, please. Uh, she literally just made a pair of pajamas for a cat. <laughs> what? Unbelievable. That's not even food. What isn't even food? That pile of yarn you're knitting in that frying pan. That's clearly a set of pajamas for a cat. Oh, was it supposed to be food? (laughs) Sorry, I forgot what we were doing. Cooked so many drugs. Yes, it was supposed to be food, and yours obviously isn't. Oh, yeah? Then how come it won the food contest, (laughs) huh? Well, because... Yeah, that's what I thought. I'll catch you all later. Gotta find a cat to put these pajamas on. I mean, honestly, a cat could probably eat the pajamas. Yeah, there you go. Later, you run into Polly again, and she lets you pet her kitty. 
if you know what we mean. Gay! It means you get to pet the cat. Oh. You put the pajamas on. What did you think it meant? <laughs> All right, guess. Okay, turn. let's do this. What do you? Who? Where do you want to sit? Hmm. So I'm realizing the strategy of this game is not only to be with people that you want or to add stats, but also to cock block your friends. That's, Speaking of cock blocking your friends, I'll sit next to the mermaid. Oh. Gabs, I hate you. <laughs> <laughs> you love me. You arrive at your chosen table to find Vera looking as askance at Miranda's lunch. A single very suspicious looking apple. Miranda, honey, your apple seems to be pulsing with unhealthy purple light. Oh, I'm sure it's just your imagination. It also has a skull on it, and it smells like lighter fluid. I don't think it's for eating. Of course it's for eating. It's a perfectly standard poison apple. You know, the sort that puts a princess to sleep for a hundred years. You literally just admitted it's poison. I know, I know, and I always said I wouldn't be the kind of princess who eats a poison apple. But how else will I find a prince to wake me up with true love's kiss and live happily ever after with me? Me. me, me, me. Girl, we need to have a little talk about feminism. <laughs> you back me up on this. Tell her she doesn't need to poison herself for the sake of a man. You don't need that apple. Princes, princes should be eating poison apples so that you'll kiss them. You don't need that apple. There are plenty of eligible princes on hotprincefighter.com. Top one. Okay. That's something that I would say. Why aren't they eating the poison? <laughs> yeah. A marvelous idea. If the princes are asleep, I shall be able to assist them fully before making a decision. Come to think of it, I think this is the this is why the princes prefer sleeping damsels to begin with. God, <laughs> royal marriages. The whole thing is like a fucking meat market. In my kingdom, it's more of a fish market. <laughs> In any case, you two have truly opened my eyes. I shall be sending poison apples to all nearby princes forthwith. Miranda gets to work poisoning all her students. <laughs> <laughs> Vera is very impressed with your enlightened opinions on gender and poison. I... Alright, Grace's turn. Which table do you sit at? Uh... I'm not choosing the middle one. Who the fuck is that? I'm kind of intrigued by whoever it is. Fine, I'm gonna sit in the middle one. Damn it, I wanted to sit in the middle one. <laughs> <clears throat> Welcome to my little shop. Buy some shit. I have shit that will boost your stats, shit that will lead you to stupid new adventures, even some shit that might be much needed at very specific moments. So, take a look. Uh, oh, you have seven money. <clears throat> yeah, I'm selling a corpse. It's like some kind of fashion accessory. Is I'm trying to dispose of it. It's not as if I'm trying to dispose of it. <laughs> Uh, gift that keeps on giving, so it's zero. Okay. Creative, a motivational poter. Crafting your art requires years of hard work, education, great mentors, and tons of raw talent. But damn, that sounds exhausting. So let's settle for a motivational poster for now, okay? <laughs> Some impractical yet kind of funny glasses. Remember when these used to be cool? Now they aren't, but they're so ridiculous that they're still fun in their own twisted way. A sexy fake Latin accent. <gasps> Why? The hottest thing is being yourself, honey. But a Latin accent is a close second, tbh. <laughs> <clears throat> A PR agent. High school social life is so hard nowadays that hiring a PR agent is totally a thing. Damn. Oh, this one has an event. A blanket with two holes. Literally just a white blanket with two eye holes in it. You'd have to be an idiot to mistake this for a ghost. <gasps> but <gasps> most of our Damn! classmates... Damn! <laughs> yeah, I mean, she's not wrong. <laughs> yeah, seriously. A fake badass tattoo. It has flames and a skull and even a knife. I don't see the flames or the skull. I see a snake and a sword. Yeah, that's... <laughs> None of those things are listed. With this, you can be. With this, you can murder your enemies, go to prison, make everyone your bitch, and then murder them too, and go to some kind of super prison. Street cred plus nine thousand, <gasps> and a Russian novel with an insightful approach to universal matters such as what love is and this death. Doki Doki? Wow! <laughs> Burn it! <laughs> <laughs> you can always use Wikipedia to get the general idea and still be able to act as if you've read it. I don't know. What should yeah. I get? Well, you can afford one of these for sure. What, the zero dollar one? Well, you can get that, but you can just get like you can one get the tattoo. One. I don't know so. if you can purchase more more than one. Oh, okay, I um, I'm gonna get the PR. Can I PR? PR? Yeah, it's six dollars. I'm gonna get the PR agent. I'm always amazed how people sure. keep coming and buying me, like, all this extra stupid extra crap. Yes, sir. All right, that took up your turn. I'm cool with that. That's all what right. I expected. All right, so I'm glad I didn't sit with her then. Um, I'm gonna go hang out with. Parad got Paradox Gamer over here. Yeah. You find the Slayer sitting alone at the table. Is she even a student or what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're choosing to sit with me? For some reason, no one ever intentionally sits next to me. 
I usually have to ambush them and threaten to kill them. I wonder why. It's a mystery. Anyway, I'm really happy you, I mean, I'm flattered that, I mean, actually, uh, wouldn't give a shit about, your under, about you under normal circumstances, but today I'm on a quest. Yeah, that's right. I'm not emotionally vulnerable, I'm just on a quest. To slay the werewolf of Wall Street. I need a monster sidekick. You're gonna help me. Obviously, I just need to know what your class is. Are you a fighter, a mage, or a cleric? Out with it! Oh, you're something much better. You're a party smith or a gun, gun haver. <laughs> uh, I'm I feel it. like gun haver would be something you would actually say. Uh, I think you'd be like, I'm a gun haver. <laughs> you're not wrong, but I'm not... I'm against guns, so party smith it is. Party smith. A party smith? How is being able to craft a wicked party from nothing going to help me slay the werewolf because of Wall Street? that's gonna help you... We're gonna make friends, yeah. not enemies. Yeah. We're gonna build ladders, I mean, not ladders. We're gonna build bridges, not walls. We're gonna build ladders, not shoots. Yeah, that too. Yeah. I'm committed to all of this. Oh, well, I already committed to bringing you along. I suppose you can be my scrappy comic relief. Clearly, this later is un uninitiated in the mysteries of the party smith. You're set out to prove her wrong. Hmm. By organizing a party so <laughs> bald that only a fool would miss it, you managed to lure the werewolf of Wall Street out in the open. But what he doesn't know is that the guest list for your party included... Death! Basically just a fuck ton of knives in Wolfsbane. The wolf dies how he lived, high as balls on cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well... <laughs> was probably a fluke, but I'll hit you up if we do a sequel or a spinoff. Um, and, uh, let me know if you want to sit with me at lunch again. I'm into it. I'm into <laughs> oh, it. I like her. Oh, what a sweetie. <laughs> you probably won't, but who knows? The world is a crazy place. For, for your top-notch party smithing, you gain plus four fun. That was so sweet. I need to get my creativity Let's up. Let's trade places. Challenge. Everybody chooses an occupation. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Uh, party smith? <laughs> That's uh, that's what employees at Party City should be. Party Smith. Okay, so seriously. So, so choice? yeah, Party City, pa party party city <laughs> employee. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, uh, I'll go with my actual do job title, which is dog wrangler. Dog wrangler. Okay, Grace. A comic book writer. Comic book Ooh. writer. I see. Stripper. Stripper. <laughs> Player order is deciding based on how boring a VR simulator based on the selected occupation would be. Start debating now. Ooh. Uh. Well, I'm gonna go with. Party City is pro- Oh! That's gonna be how- Drawing boring. a comic book on VR would not be very fun. Yeah, so well, I'm first? Mm. No, you'd be fourth. Okay, because so we're, yours doing is the, we're doing it backwards. No, you, it would be- The most boring would be first. I-, I It doesn't matter. Alright, so- So I'm first. So Grace is first. Um, second, probably- Party City. Party City. Well, well I feel like- no. Lacey's would be- pretty high up there because if no, she's... No, Lacey's would she's... be arguably the most exciting. VR porn is a thing. <laughs> yeah, but like... There's such a huge market for that. Hear me out, though. If you're a stripper, all, you're gonna be in first-person view of the stripper just spinning around a bunch and getting motion sick while a bunch of fat, hairy guys throw money at you. Unless fake money at really you. it's really about, like, strippers who deal in coke, in which case it'd be a really fun VR game. I think it'd be really fun. Well, because you're not actually doing the like coke, our, though. It would be <laughs> It's like voted DDR, but with boobs. You are voted <laughs> off the island. I think that would be <laughs> so tight. Yeah. Okay, so... I think it's, it's Gabs and then Lacey. And then Gabs, Lacey. Okay, it's me, then Gabs, then Lacey. I like that they do that. Yeah. It's very fun. All right. Now then. More. Let's oh, it's go. Oh, evening. Um, actually, well, now let's do one more round and then we'll call it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> All where, right. Where would Mermaid Girl be? Uh... Where would she be in the evening, prom queen? Uh, hmm. Outdoors. Outdoors. Oh, that's what I was going to pick. Oh, too bad! That day during recess... No, I'm starting the rave, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> Start a half-hour rave that goes full crazy. You're talking to Juan, the small, magical Latino cat, when he tells you that you won't ever be as fun as Bob, the scary clown. You accept the challenge. You go straight to Bob, stab him several times, open in his bleeding chest, and eat some of his guts in order to consume his fun. Damn! Nice. Really? Do you think that's how this works? Well, it is! <laughs> you gain plus two fun from poor Bob. Oh, Poor guy. Can I, can I see anyone? Oh, 
Dam- Damien's just minding his own business, clothes lining people, when suddenly yeah. a loud siren goes off up above you. It's the Slayer! She's on the roof of the school holding a megaphone and she's looking right at Damien. What's up, ball sack? Put this in your horn and smoke it! Your mom is so fat when she processes someone, they don't even possesses. need... Possesses. When she... <laughs> when she possesses someone, they don't need an exorcism. They need liposuction. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, well... Damien's stuck. It's up to you to figure out a comeback. You lean over and whisper in his ear. Your mama's so poor she can't even sell her soul because she's only renting Damn. it. Damn. Fuck you, you Van Helsing-looking piece of shit. The top one. Okay. What the fuck? What? Why would you say that about my mom? Are you fuck? Are you on that fucking Slayer side? Yo, Slayer, I know I can't kill you because you're the protagonist or whatever, but I'm cool to beat the shit out of your minion over here, yeah? That's not my- I mean, yeah, sure, go for oh, it. I am literally sucking so hard Oh this. no! Damien jumps up and down on your face while the rest of the school steps. watches. You lose a couple teeth and also minus two- Boldness and mi- I don't minus know if there smarts. was a way for you to get out of that one because the other one was Van Helsing piece of shit. Yeah. All right. Uh, I, I, yeah, I think you were my stuck. Turn next. Because uh, I feel like the other one was too mean, so I want to do that one. Yeah. I'm gonna go. Oh, I can't choose the auditorium. I'm gonna go to the. I don't even know. I, I think I'll go after Polly wherever I can find her. Uh, I go gym. Bathrooms. <laughs> That day you skip class, intending to spend the term in the bathrooms. Aww. <laughs> but you encounter three wild hyenas on the way there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who the fuck runs security <laughs> here? <laughs> anyway, you subdue them with the help of a hair comb. God bless the monster scouts and all the idiotic scenarios they prepared you for. <laughs> By the time you get to the bathrooms, you've completely gained... You've totally gained plus two boldness. Nice. All right. You're admiring yourself in the mirror when Principal Giant Spider <laughs> strolls <laughs> Hey, it is Polly. Moments later, Polly and Liam enter in a panic. Did you just see the principal come in here? No, we're done for. Unless, which stall did he go into? That one? That's, that's where we cook the math. Hit all of our Molly for the upcoming Ah! music festival. (laughs) Okay, Liam, be cool. It's fine. As long as he doesn't check the toilet tank for some weird reason. From the stall, you hear the principal say, and now to take the toilet tank, as I always do before using the toilet. Ah! Curses! What's this? Says the principal. A plastic baggie full of small white pills? Could this be... Drugs? Ah! Principal Giant Spider bursts from the stalls, clutching the bag in his dreadful fangs. Unacceptable! He chitters. Before you even had time to make a plan, you hear yourself saying, Those aren't drugs, they're... Tiny spider eggs. We're raising spiders from babies because we love them so much. An illusion created by the <laughs> drugster. <laughs> oh, uh, what are which, you gonna do? Which one caters to Polly? I wonder. Uh, Probably the first. That's what I would pick mm. if I were in your shoes. Mm, I think this one, because she'll imply that drugs. Like she, she seems like she's into everything. Yeah. Bad. Ooh. Principal giant spider stops mid stride. But, but I don't remember taking any drugs. It's all of this hallucination? Who am I? He says and looks down at his eight hairy legs. <gasps> oh shit, what the fuck is this? He said. I'm a giant spider! <laughs> no, you're not, dude. You're just a garden gnome who's super high on some bad shit. Yes, you're our boon companion, Tipsy Tom, and you love gardening. Mind over matter, Tom. Mind over matter. But the principal will not be calmed. He skitters from the bathroom, <laughs> screaming. He may never know his true identity again. But you know what's better? He totally dropped the drugs. You gain plus two fun and plus one boldness. <gasps> I'm killing it at the fun department. All I right. I didn't necessarily gain anything, but we're going to end this episode here. So next time on Manly Voices, we'll take uh, Gab's and Lacey's turn. Thank you, everybody, yeah. so much for watching. This is super fun. Um... If you like this video, please leave a like down below and subscribe if you want to see more. And also comment on what other voice adventures you'd want us to do next. Until next time, bye everybody. Bye 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 bye.